2013, Kentucky's bourbon industry gained a different type of attention when investigators uncovered someone was stealing highly coveted and very expensive Pappy Van Winkle. What became known as Pappy Gate is now part of a six episode series on Netflix. The show chronicles three of the biggest heists in modern American history. Pat Milton, who was the Franklin County Sheriff at the time of the investigation, appears in the documentary. He gave Jennifer a behind the scenes look. I think some of the questions that came up was, do I really want to do this? Um, and I decided I did because my men and women did a great job on this case. And I wanted to talk about what a great job they did because a lot of people in this case thought it was a publicity stunt on Buffalo Trace's part, and it wasn't. And then a lot of people thought, well, they'll never solve it. You know, and I, and I looked in the camera at one of the press conferences and I said, we're going to solve this case. Looking back, that was probably pretty stupid. But it was, uh, you know, I was committed to uh, solve this case like we do all the others that we try to solve. And we just got lucky on this one. Were you able to give input in terms of what you wanted covered in the documentary? Or did you just do the interviews and no. they had the final say? It, OK, so what did you think about when you watched the finished product uh, compared to what actually happened in real life? Well, I, you know, obviously it's Hollywood. They're going to do what they need to do to make it a little more sexy. Um, there are some things that they left out that, that probably was pretty important to put in, in my opinion. And then there's things that, that they put in there that never happened. Um, so it was interesting to see how different that was uh, based on what really happened and, and what, you know, Hollywood did uh, on, on the documentary. But, it, but overall, it was, they did a good job. And overall, I was, I was, I was mostly happy with it. Give us an example of something that they added that didn't actually happen. Well, like Dusty Atkins saying that we followed him to Pikeville, that never happened. Uh, we never ever went on their property till we had a signed search warrant by a judge. I mean, those are some big things in law enforcement that you know you don't do, and uh, we did. But but they showed a couple of the detectives, and then uh, uh, my chief deputy, then Ron White. They showed the guy portraying him in a, in a flannel shirt. He said, I'd never wear a flannel shirt. He said, I don't even own one. So kind of funny. Um, but, it, you know, it, there, there are just some things that, that, you know, I wish they would have included that was important and things that, that they did that, that just never happened. Uh, but that's part of it. I, you know, it's part, I think it's part of the process. It's part of anything that, that you know, you don't have control over. It, it, you always run that risk of, of something else being put in. But overall, pretty good job. It, it, it's it's mostly accurate and um, you know I, I think I think the series kind of kind of glorifies the bad guy if you would and um, you know I, I think it kind of comes out like that all three all three of the uh, uh, shows that they did kind of glorify but they all three got caught so I thought that was kind of interesting too what has been the response to it now that people can watch it on Netflix? It's been overall mostly good. I've had a couple of people, you know, message me or send me a Facebook message and say, you know, what a jerk. Why'd you lock this guy up? But uh, mostly, mostly people get what happened, what it was about, and that ultimately the good guys won. The bad guys went, got charged, and, and you know, we indicted nine people. And and you know, I think the big one of the biggest things was people were shocked at. You know, originally on this case, we thought it was one big theft at one time. As we investigated this and got into it, we learned that it wasn't one big theft, but there were several people stealing the whole time. So that was that was a big one, and uh, a lot of people are shocked at, at how much was stolen and uh, the arrogance of, of Toby Kurtzinger in the documentary. You know, the Pappygate scandal and the heist uh, got national and international attention. You are no longer with the yeah. Franklin County Sheriff's Office. So what are what are, have you been doing since then? What are you doing now? Well, I retired. I've got a little girl, Macy, and she's two and a half. And then I've decided to go back to work and I went back to work for Georgetown Police Department. I applied and they hired me. And uh, I'm just a patrolman there now, having a ball. I, it's, it's a great place, great agency, great city council and mayor, just a great community. I just saw this week that it's the fastest growing community in the state at 23%, which is huge. And uh, just a great place to be. I, I'm having a ball. 
um, not having the responsibility of the personnel and the budget and all the other things that you got to do being sheriff. Yeah, I mentioned personnel and, uh, you know, that's kind of tough. So it's nice just to come to work go home and, and don't have to worry about it. I've, I've gotten into, uh, I'm a hostage negotiator for them. I'm also in the drone unit and the traffic unit. So I'm in three specialized units there with the police department. Uh, great men and women work there having a ball. Really, really enjoying it. And working with some people I haven't got to work with before uh, from Frankfurt that, that work there as well. So having a really good time. Heist debuted on July 14th. You can watch episodes of Pappy Gate in the documentary titled The Bourbon King.